Hey guys, welcome into today's video. I am all put together. I'm wearing a very dark eye look. I was filming with the new Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice palette. I wanna do a declutter and a shop my stash. I recently just posted a series of videos, including my luxury makeup collection, my drugstore makeup collection, and then my high-end makeup collection. It got me thinking about how I'm really approaching makeup. I consume a lot in general just for my own personal enjoyment but also for the sake of my channel which I am trying to grow but there are definitely some products that I keep for reference which I'm sure you hear a lot of youtubers say that they have a library or a reference or something to that effect that indicates that we hold on to products because we want to review them later on or talk about a product that didn't work for us or a dupes video or something along those lines I have a vanity behind me it's made up of basically three Alex 5 drawers and then I have one Alex 9 that I keep all my eyeshadows in that are to my left and I use that as my vanity where I get ready every day for work so I want to keep the products in there that I really enjoy reaching for I have recently done a vanity makeover as well I've purchased individual dividers and I've set up my collection so that it looks a little bit more put together it makes a little bit more sense a little bit more organized but also I'm to the seams like there is not an inch left but there are some products in there that I just really don't want and I definitely want to get away from feeling obligated to use the products that I don't really like and if I keep them in there I kind of feel like oh they're you know they're looking at me or you just get massively overwhelmed with the collection that you have as opposed to you know a more minimalized collection so what I would like to do is I've purchased some containers and they're just rectangle shaped and, and drawer style and I would like to take out the products that I don't like using but I haven't decluttered that I want to use in future videos and I want to put those and set them up in my closet and I also want to do a declutter of a lot of the products that I just need to be honest with myself and get rid of because I haven't reached for in a while and there's a ton of other products that I would love to get more use out of and so if I had a much more dialed down collection I feel like I would feel better about reaching for those things but also for the first time and I said shop my stash but I, I do mean shop my stash but also project pan i've never done a project pan on my channel i've never done a project pan in my life i only started my collection or just accumulating a lot of things in the last three years and last year in july i did start my channel so since then it has grown quite significantly i've never had to do a project pan previously because i would just buy like a little bit of makeup and I would wear the same makeup every single day and then I would use it up and then go and repurchase it. That is not my current situation. So I would like to start panning some of the items that are on the lower side that don't have a lot of product left that I know that I could easily attain project pan just getting ready every single day and I want to dedicate a specific drawer on my vanity over there in those pink containers to those items that I'm going to dedicate myself to reaching for and to project pan them use them completely up so that's really it in a nutshell that's what we're going to do today you guys we'll start going through the drawers one by one and I'll indicate which ones we're gonna fully declutter and give away to family and friends, which one we're gonna put in kind of like as reference in those bins, and then the stuff that we're gonna pull out for Project Pan. So if that sounds good to you guys with my very long-winded intro, stay tuned. Okay, so here's the start of my Alex 5 drawers, and I pulled these containers out of the packages. I have four of them on my vanity now. We'll just start with these four. I, I guess I bought eight total just in case. I have not like looked at these drawers ahead of time so I don't have an idea yet exactly what I'm going to take out and what I want to declutter. So you're going to be helping me like you're going to be following along while I kind of decide. This drawer is always tricky to get in frame because it's right up against the wall. Hopefully you can see everything. So there's a couple that I, I know I want to declutter. This is from w7 this is the prime magic universal face primer it's supposed to be a dupe for the smashbox photo finish i just didn't find that this was like mattifying it really didn't do anything it's just kind of a extra primer in my collection so this is definitely one i'm going to declutter and then also the nyx shine killer it's like a black it's charcoal based so it's like a black shade 
this really didn't do anything there's no real oil control with it it was kind of i don't know maybe more emollient than i was like hoping for i really didn't find that it did anything it feels like it has oils in it so this is one that i also want to declutter i really do like all of these other primers i don't think there's anything else that i want to declutter but i do want to pull some out for my project pan one i've already pulled out and has been sitting up on the vanity which i'll just kind of set these aside and we can go over them later was a small little tester it's of the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base and i have been like trying to use this up it's probably got one more use left so that one's gonna go and then i would also also like to use up the Tatcha the liquid silk canvas I think I've used about half of this again this is just a mini so I want to pull this out for project pan and then the final one is the Smashbox photo finish primerizer again I've used probably about half of this and I really really do like this product so I would like a chance to kind of get rid of some of the minis and use them up you know what now that I think about it this is one that I also would like to declutter it's the wet and wild prime focus primer serum it's supposed to brighten really it has pineapple hibiscus rose water and green tea extracts that boost radiance i just you know if it's a product that you have to use like over time i'd rather use something like vitamin c for brightening and i would rather use it in skincare step as opposed to like my primer which i don't always reach for i don't always wear primer so this one I would definitely like to declutter and just pass on to somebody else who might find enjoyment out of this. It's a water-based formula, so it's very, very lightweight. It's nice. It's just, it doesn't serve a purpose for me. This last one here, I want to take out so that I can kind of put it in my project pan. It's the Tula Filter Primer Blurry and Moisturizing Primer. This, I remember when I used it, pilled up on my face. So I want to give it a test again to see if it does that. My skin has kind of changed. I don't know, try it in different ways see if it'll work for me so I'm going to put this in my like project pan or at least up on my vanity so that I can test it because if it doesn't work then I am going to declutter this one as well at some point I probably want to like use up this Laneige one you know what I'll take this little mini Laneige one out as well now I think it's pretty good this is pared down I like the rest of these primers for very different reasons I definitely need to get more use out of a lot of these so if I can go through some of the minis I don't think I would repurchase any of them so that I can get more use out of these primers again maybe a little bit difficult to see there are some in here that I want to get rid of again the matte fixer from w7 just like the primer i really didn't think it did anything so i want to declutter that and then this one from nyx the matte finish i would get super dewy like four hours in i just didn't think it mattified i really didn't think it locked down my makeup so i'm gonna get rid of that one these two are nice refreshers the met Kaina mist from NYX from the Avatar Way of the Water collection and then the Wet n Wild Rose Water. I think they're really good like hydrators. The rest of these, actually this one is also a makeup fixing mist. So I'll put these three, can I put these three together? No, I guess I can't based on size. So I'll leave that there, but I'll move this dewy one from Rare Beauty back here. You know what? I'm gonna pull out the Urban Decay All Nighter and put this in a project pan. If you can hear it, there is probably this much left in it i would like to use it up i don't think i would repurchase it because i would rather like get use out of the setting sprays that i have here and i don't use them that often so this next drawer is foundations there are a couple in here that i want to declutter for example i want to declutter this wet n wild tinted hydrator it either has oxidized or i bought a shade that's just too dark i've held on to it but every time i wear it now i can see just how deep it is on my skin tone it's just too too deep so I either need to purchase a lighter shade or these just tend to oxidize over time. So I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, I've repositioned the camera. I did not think you guys would like the last angle. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else that I want to declutter, but there is a foundation in here that I would like to use up. It's the Sephora Best Skin Ever. It's one of my most used foundations. It's one of my favorite foundations and it's about half used already you guys can see through there i would like to put this in a project pan and use this up completely so if i'm not testing new foundations i would like to use this on an everyday basis so that one is going to go project pan and i don't think i want to get rid of anything else or project pan anything else 
Panning a foundation is really difficult for me, especially because I'm testing so many. So for now, that's all I wanna do in the foundation drawer. Okay, I've repositioned the camera again. So hopefully this is a decent angle. I did pull out the first one. This is the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. This always creases on my under eyes. So instead of fully completely decluttering this because it's a fairly new release, I wanna move this to the system of the acrylic drawers so they can go into my closet because I will not reach for this again. So I'm gonna move that up there. Same thing for this one. This is just a mini of the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. This one also creases on me, so I don't wanna keep this in my permanent collection because I will not reach for this. But I will put this in my system of drawers in the closet it just in case for kind of reference sake. I do try and get rid of concealers pretty quickly when they don't work for me so I feel like I want to keep everything else that's in here because I do quite like it for different reasons. I wish that I liked less of them so I felt like I was getting rid of more so I think that's really it for this drawer so we'll move on into the powder drawer below. Okay, I switched to just holding the camera. I think I can hold it steady enough to do this one. There are definitely a ton of powders in here that I don't reach for all the time. One of them that I wanna move into the system of acrylics in the closet is the Fenty powder. I've used this recently and honestly, I still feel like even though I'm combo skin, on the drier parts of my face, it's still too dry. I cannot get away with using this it just for whatever reason it's just not working well on my skin same thing for this one it's the nars translucent crystal light reflecting powder in translucent crystal this this is a really strange powder it's really bright white it has like pearls in it just kind of light reflecting i just i don't know i don't want to get rid of it <laughs> but i honestly just don't reach for it that often so i'm going to put this in the library pile here's another one same thing i just did not get along with this one i just didn't find that i really reach for individual powders like this in a quad for like different things and if i'm going to color correct i'm usually not going to do it as like a finishing powder i would rather do it as like an under the foundation step this is the moira set and correct finishing powder in 100 so i'm going to put this in the reference as well you know i could get away with just not moving any of these because this is not like super cluttered but i want to be realistic in the powders that i like constantly reach for the ones that i don't this one i want to get more use out of so i'm going to move this one to project pan slash I want to move up to the vanity so that I can see if I like it a little bit better. This is the Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder from Moira. When I first tried this, I was just not blown away. I didn't find that it was like overly waterproof, to be totally honest with you. So I'm going to test it out again, see if my feelings on it have changed. So this one's going to go up in the acrylic drawers that are on my vanity. You know what? I am going to move this hourglass. This is the translucent setting powder or the veil translucent setting powder. This one I want to put up on where I do my filming because I would like to powder with this as like I'm setting my face when I'm filming or whatnot so that I can try and use this up because I mean it's just a little mini and honestly it's probably about half gone so I'm going to move that one into a somewhat project pan situation. I'm so much more into pressed powders. The only one in the pressed powder category that I don't love is this one from Charlotte Tilbury but I think I'm going to keep this here for now because I'm going to try and use the Moira one. I'll move this one back into like the chopping block after I test the Moira one out to see if I really do want to keep it in my collection. I actually think that's pretty good for now. With the exception of the Charlotte Tilbury, I really like it. I really like it. Like I love all of these powders aside from maybe this Kiko Milano one that's kind of like a softer kind of finishing powder. I just love all of these for like setting my makeup down. So we are done with this drawer. This is another drawer that you can't really see the whole thing, but there's definitely some mascaras in here that I want to put in the closet. For example, this one from Thrive, it's a new mascara. It's the Liquid Lash Volumizer Mascara. I tried using this again, and because this wand is just so big, I was struggling so hard to get like, I don't know, a nice lash and not make a huge mess like all over my eyes. So I wanna take this out of here because I just honestly, I'm not reaching for this. And because it's a new release, I'd like to keep it, not totally declutter it. 
Then I also want to take this one out and put it in the closet because I do not like this. This is not pigmented enough for me. It might be good for my lower lashes, but I have other mascaras that I like for lower lashes. I don't need this. I was keeping this simply for like reference. I know a lot of people are liking this, but it's it just, I don't know, it's not pigmented enough for me. Same thing with this one, the Benefit Roller Lash. Like I get virtually no pigment on this. Like there's just not a lot going on for me and I like something that has like a lot of pigmentation to it and this just doesn't do it. It's just my personal preference. So because this is fairly new to me and I have used this like in a dupes video, I do want to hold on to this in my reference. Same thing with this. This is a terrible mascara. The LYS Lash Confidence. The wand is terribly goopy. It's also curved. It makes a huge, huge mess. Also not my style and it gets onto the lashes in a really chunky way. So I wanna take this out and put that in the closet in case I do some roundup at the end of the year. This one I'm gonna declutter, the Max Stack. It's just a mini. This actually really irritated my eyes. Plus it's like on the dry side. So I think I'm just gonna throw this away. I thought the effect was beautiful. I really liked this mascara, but unfortunately like whatever the formula is, it irritated me every time I wore it. So that one needs to go. Here's another one that I wanna put into like the reference because this is a new release. It's also like on the dry side. It's the Milk Rise Mascara, but this is the waterproof version that just came out. Just too dry. I don't like bristles like this. I thought I did like it when I first tried it, but then like as the formula continued to dry out, it was just on the drier side. Like I just wasn't enjoying it, but because it's a fairly new release, I wanna hold on to it in the library of libraries this is another one that i can't stand i know that a lot of people like this too the elf lash and roll i just it's the same thing as the benefit roller lash people really love both of those and for me it's not enough pigment my lashes are extremely thin and i like when a mascara is a little bit thick in texture so that it like thickens my lashes without making them clumpy but this just this isn't enough pigment for me this doesn't really give me like the volume and length that i like so it was nice testing it and i have used this as like again a dupes video so i want to hold on to it it's not that old this one i'm gonna just let go i've had this a long time i want to say like over a year at this point so this this needs to go like in the trash so i'm gonna get rid of that one as well and then the final one that i want to take out and put in the closet is the lash like a boss from essence um i don't think it's like you know i think i'll keep this one in here now that i think about it it's really really pigmented i do kind of make a mess with this wand but i want to continue like giving it a shot it was one that i actually did really like but it did kind of make a mess this one from fenty you know what i'm gonna pull this one out this one i did not like but i want to give it another shot to see how i feel about it it was chunky it was just a really chunky volumizing mascara. Like usually these natural bristled wands, they tend to kind of get chunky, like if the formula is wetter and it's not really my thing. So I do want to pull this out. I'm going to put this into my, we'll call it chopping block stack. And I'm going to move everything up to the vanity for now so that you guys can like see and we'll organize it all later. I feel pretty good about it. I want to show you guys like my favorite mascaras. So you know, like the ones that I'm skipping over. Like these are the ones that I pretty much reach for all the time. The original liquid lash extensions from Thrive. Then I am loving the Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara. I also love the Tower 28 Mate Waves Mascara. It's just, they're very pigmented, all of them. Then the Cali Ray Come Heller High Water. This is a volumizing tubing mascara. It's really good. This one no one talks about. This is from Simi Haze. It's basically undistinguishable. Like the lettering is very, very hard to see in black somewhere on here. Don't even know where. But they call this their Easy Lash Mascara. It is so good. No one talks about it. But like it's so pigmented and lengthening. And I feel like it actually like volumizes my lashes too. And then I love as an affordable option, this one from Catrice. It's the Glam and Doll False Lashes. I just think this is a really, really good mascara. Like no one talks about this, but it kind of reminds me of, I don't know, like the Tower 28 in a way, honestly. And then I also like this one too from Give Beauty, the Can't Stop Staring Mascara. I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's better than my other ones. I think it's decent, but I hate it for the lower lash line. That's the only thing. 
those are my most reached for mascaras. Now I do want to get rid of some things in here. Probably not a lot, but I think I'm going to totally declutter this because it didn't work for me. It's the Velour Lash Go. So it's a liner plus a lash adhesive, but it's so messy. This tip makes such a mess. And so I get the liner all over the place, which totally defeats the purpose. Plus like it's not easily cleaned up. It's sticky. So yeah, it just, I get the idea, like the idea would have been nice to have like a multi-purpose because I always use liner when I use lashes, but it just, it didn't, it wasn't simple enough for me. I am actually gonna let this one go as well. This is a liner from Glam Light in the Chucky collection. The issue with this is that I don't usually use a pencil liner like this in black. If I did, it would be to tight line, but this transfers so, so bad. So it's not good for me to use as like a tight line. I want something waterproof if I'm going to use it in a water line of some sort. Otherwise, I just wouldn't use like something like this on my lid. I would rather use like a shadow if I was gonna smoke out the outer corner or something like that. So I'm going to declutter this one. And I'm also going to let this go. It was pretty bad quality. This is from Doll Beauty. This is their Push, it, push Poppin' Liner and like black licorice. It's so not pigmented. Even when I try and shake this, I basically get no pigment. I can shake, shake, shake. And it's just not like honestly pigmented enough for me. So I've already done this in a speed reviews. I'm gonna let this go. Another one that I'm gonna let go is this Luxe Gel Liner from Riri. I don't really know this brand entirely. Sorry, it's not focusing great, but it's kind of on the dry side. Plus I remember it like, kind of bleeding again it's like a situation where if it bleeds and it's a gel liner like this i'm not going to tight line with it so i don't need this i have two now that i really really enjoy and i just don't feel like i need more than that the one from sephora is like my favorite and i have look how much i have left like i have quite a bit of this left so i feel like it's sufficient to keep this one but i also just got one from cali ray that i really enjoy so i have two now and i feel like that's good I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This was like the Raw Beauty Christie collab. Uh, see, it's kind of on the dry side. It just broke off, yeah. And I've had it for like a while and I have one now that is a brown shade from Catrice, 20 hour ultra precision gel waterproof liner. This one is in brown as well. So for a brown, I feel like that's really all I need. I don't use it that often. So I'm just gonna throw this one away because it's just old. There's no other real organization here, I think, that needs to be done. I'm pretty satisfied with the way this is looking now. I have some stuff in the back here that you can't see, it's off camera, so I'm just gonna show you. Like, I keep a pretty dialed down selection of eye pencils, and I really do, I mean, I like all of these or can make all of these work for me. The only one, I don't know, I feel like I wanna take this out and like sharpen it and test it out. It's the Clean ID Eyebrow Pencil from Catrice. I wanna put this in like a chopping block because it's the kind that, you know, you would basically not use like as a microfine pencil, you would just kind of like fill in with it and that's not usually something I do. So I wanna sharpen this, take this out, put this in the chopping block. The rest of these I like really like, except this Moira one, really good shade. It's just kind of on the drier side, but the rest of these are like my favorites. The Benefit Precisely My Brow, the e.l.f. Microfine Brow Pencil, the two from Rare Beauty I really enjoy, and then I have the one from Dior. This one is maybe in a little bit of a dark shade, but you know, I've repurchased this one so many times. I've repurchased the e.l.f. once before. I've been trying so many lately, and honestly, I just keep going back to the same ones, so I feel like I'm good with those. I don't need more than that. You know what? I think I'm gonna hold on to this, but I'm gonna move it to the system of drawers in the closets, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder in the shade three. I just don't find this very convenient and the shade for me is a little bit too dark. Even though I use shade three in the micro fine pencil, it just comes out too dark in the powder, unfortunately. It's not my preferred method. I don't find this very fast. So I'm gonna hold on to it because it's a new release, but I'm gonna move it to the closet. And then I have some things off camera here, mostly just eyeshadow primers. These two I wanna take out because these are nearly done. They have just a tiny bit left. 
and I want to put these in a project band. I mean, like they probably have one use left in them each. So I'll take that out. One thing that I want to get rid of is the BH Cosmetics Base Booster. It's a glitter and shadow glue. I have tried to use this and honestly, it's just not that good of a product. Like it's not, it doesn't work as well as I would hope. Like I don't find that it's sticky enough like right away. I don't know. I just didn't enjoy this. I just, I didn't think it was honestly really good quality. I don't use products like this very often. I wanted to have one in my collection. So I picked it up from BH when I placed an order, but I just don't care for this. So I'm just going to declutter that one. The rest of the ones that I have in my collection, I really enjoy. This Angel Eyes one is really, really similar to the one from Juvia's Place. So they both are really, really tinted. So I do like those on occasion. I am wearing the Juvia's Place one like right now. And these two are really, really similar. The NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Base and then the Moira Eyeshadow Primer. And they honestly prefer form very similarly to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I keep both of these, love both of those. And then finally, I have the one from Rare Beauty that I really, really enjoy. And then I just have two simple lash glues and one from Sephora and one from Duo. I use them up and I repurchase. I don't get crazy with lash glues and those don't seem to irritate my eyes. So I do hold on to those. So that is it for this drawer. I think I really got rid of like stuff that I honestly honestly have not touched do not use do not like i adore all of these pencils and i use all of these pencils i'm wearing the nyx one right now i use the sephora ones all the time i rotate between my liquid liners so often i love having like colorful liners when i do creative eye looks like i reach for these like all the time the only ones i maybe don't reach for that often are the eye method beauty ones but they do have like a winged stamp on here that i do kind of like they're not they're not half bad and i do like the formula the formula is actually really good so i think that is it for this drawer this next one just has like extra eye brushes extra face brushes extra sponges i'm gonna do a full brush declutter in i don't know one of my upcoming videos i really honestly just recently did one but I need to get rid of more. I actually just hauled a bunch more and I honestly feel like going through my brushes in that video, I kind of understand like what brushes I absolutely love. Like there's no reason to keep a bunch of powder brushes when I literally never use powder brushes or I just, I don't know, I have so many. I just want to do a brush haul declutter video. So there's nothing really to do in this drawer. Okay, I'm gonna keep the camera where it is so we can see the whole situation. This is all my powder blushes. I need to be realistic here. I really, really do. I need to take some out of here that I do not use all the time because there isn't a single slot left. Maybe way, way in the back here, there is. But there is so many here I legitimately do not use. For example, I will not touch this one in Dior. This is not a shade. I feel like I always try and cover up redness. Like naturally, if I didn't wear makeup, like that's what my cheeks would look like anyway. So I don't need to add this on after I put foundation on. So I wanna take this one out, put this in like the reference bin. It's just, that's all I would use it for. This shade on the other hand in Coral, this, this one I really enjoy. I'm going to declutter this one finally. I feel like a blush hoarder. It has been so hard for me to get rid of blushes. This one's almost like a putty. But if I, if I were gonna reach for a shade like this, or if I was gonna pull out a formula that I really enjoyed that was a similar shade to this, it just wouldn't be this one. And I need to be realistic and I'm not purchasing Shade Land products anymore. So this one's gonna go. Same thing with this, I'm gonna declutter this. I honestly, I'm just, I have so many makeup products. I don't feel like I need to prove anything. And that's kind of what I felt like before. Like I have one from Laura Mercier that I think is like nice like this. This one is the Kiko Milano blush from the Beauty Essentials collection in vibrating beige. It's so light on me. And if I'm gonna grab for a light blush like this, I would so much prefer to grab this one from Laura Mercier because it's just such a more superior formula. And this is just more pigmented. So I am gonna let this one go. I honestly, I'm feeling really good about this. Here's another one I'm gonna take out. I don't enjoy this formula from ColourPop. I thought it was like powdery and patchy on me. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of other people were enjoying this. This is their like permanent packaging powder blush and shortbread. So I'm gonna move this to the closet 
because I would like to use this for like reference. This one as well is gonna go to the closet. I just, I don't enjoy this. It may just be the shades. I think this is like too deep. I don't know. It just doesn't look right on me. It looks kind of like a brown when it gets to my skin tone and I just don't like that. I like mixing the two shades together, but I see how much prettier it is when you mix them. This is like a shade I could get down with. You know what? I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to put it on the vanity. It's going to go on the chopping block. I just never fell in love with this formula and I want to fall in love. This one I'm also going to take out. This is again a shade that I do not love, love, love. Like I bought this for the Pinker Times Ahead collection and I know this is a super popular shade. It's just, again, this is the color of my cheeks when I don't wear makeup. I don't want to add colors like this back. I just don't think it looks flattering on me. I think it looks flattering on a lot of people, just not on me. That's my personal opinion. So I'm going to move this to the closet because this is a pretty popular shade. And I'd like to be able to reference it, but I don't want to keep it in here. I just will never reach for it. Here are two more that I'm not over the moon about. This is a formula that it's also a shade that I just didn't like. This one is too... I don't know it pulls like almost brown on me and then this is like too pink like just both of these tones for whatever reason i don't like the way they end up looking on me but because this is a fairly new release this is gonna go in the closet this one right here i could literally do without it's the coral crush well it's the blush trio from ulta beauty and coral crush i think i like these shades it's just man when i'm looking at all of these blushes i would so much rather reach for basically any other blush in here more than this one. So I am going to move this to the closet as well. Man, this feels so good. I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to do this. I know that I'm not pulling out, like I have such a hard time letting go of blushes that like doing anything feels so good. This one I'm also gonna put in the closet. I'd like to have an affordable option, but uh, there are a hundred different formulas in there that I would rather reach for than the e.l.f. one. I mean, it's not bad. It's just that some of these are exceptional. They're very, very different. They're really good. They're much like better formulated than this one from e.l.f., which is their primer infused blush. This is not a bad product at all whatsoever but there are some exceptional formulas in here. So when I'm looking at these, the ones that I would rather get use out of, I would rather reach for other ones like way more than this one. But again, I wanna keep this in my collection for reference. I actually made some space. I'm moving all of these forward so I can see them all now. It's not a ton of extra space, but it gave me some over here on the side. I honestly do not wanna move anything else. Not right now. I might get better at this, in teaching myself like what I really, really wanna reach for. I think the only thing is this one from ColourPop. I do not love this packaging. Like it's always just been a packaging thing for me. Picking up my product from like a putty form that's harder from this kind of component, I don't like it. So I'm gonna pull this out. This is gonna go in the chopping block. If if I do not like reaching for this and this doesn't become something that I'm just, I'm really blown away by or love the way that it looks on my cheeks, I'm gonna end up putting this in the closet. I don't wanna keep this in here taking up space because I would so much rather perf like reaching for the bare minerals. Like that's such a beautiful one. The one from Make Beauty in Magnetic Mauve, Mystic Mauve rather. It's such a beautiful purpley undertone. It's, it's so beautiful. Uh, both of these are really, really good. Perfusion has their social butterfly blush. It's like almost a cream putty hybrid. This one from Essence, the blush lighter. Like if you want shimmery, it's beautiful. Pat McGrath. Like there's some exceptional formulas in here that I would so much prefer reaching for. You know what? I think I will move this one over into the closet as well. The colorful mattes from Sephora. This is the old version. I have referenced this a couple of times on my channel, but I don't know. I think the new formulation is good and I feel like I have a very, very similar shade in the new formulation that I bought. So this can go in the closet for reference. This one 
this is the last one that I'm considering. I just don't know. Is this a bronzer or is this a blush for me? I just don't know. This is their, the Sunkiss Healthy Glow Powder in Terracotta Light. It's kind of an all over powder. I'm just, I literally not sure how I wanna use this. You know what? This one's gonna go in the chopping block. We're gonna chopping block of this bad boy. If that doesn't end up working, then it will go in the closet for reference for girl on products. I won't necessarily declutter it, but I'm not gonna reach for it every day. So I'm gonna free up some space in here. I feel good, I feel good, let's move on. Okay, this is the cream blush drawer. I just turned off the fan. It was kind of like pointing this direction, so hopefully it helps a little bit. Um, this one is hard. This one's gonna be really difficult for me, but it is jam-packed in here, so I need to be realistic. This one here, I wanna put in a chopping block. It's the ColourPop. Again, I had like two of these, one in the pearlized finish, one in the matte finish. The matte finish is the one I pulled out, but this is the Super Shock Cheek in the pearlized finish in no way. This again is the component thing for me. So I wanna put this in a chopping block unless I can like find an absolute love for these. I want to kind of declutter it. Man, this is, this is hard. Some of these I haven't like even reached for in a while. So, you know, it's hard to like gather my thoughts. This one I like, like it's okay, but I don't like it better than a lot of my other blushes. It's kind of like, um, like a shimmery blush. I don't know, these ones from Wet n Wild, these sticks are good. This is from the Pampered Collection. And I really enjoy the formula. It's just, I don't know that I love the shade. Like I have so many stick blushes and I legit would not reach for this one over trying to pan some of my other ones. So mm, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna declutter this. One that I'm for sure taking out is, where is it? This one, the blush tape from Tarte and Peach. This is a terrible, really metallic formula with not a lot of pigment. Like once you rub it in, it's just very, very light. And that's not something that I like. I enjoy much more pigmentation than that. So I'm gonna keep this for reference, but this is coming out of here and going into the closet. You know what? Same thing for the e.l.f. I do not enjoy the formula. Unfortunately, it's just, it's honestly too metallic for me. and there's a difference in a shimmery finish and like just a straight metallic finish and i don't enjoy a liquid metallic finish if i do it has to have like a decent amount of pigmentation like the charlotte tilbury wands and even those are not my absolute favorite but i do i do like them i prefer them over their dupes so i'm going to move this to the closet i just i do not reach for this i would so much rather reach for something else i'm also going to move these out these are two of the rare beauty soft pinch blushes i was not a fan of these when they first came out i feel like i like them more now but these are both a matte finish and they're super flat on my cheeks and i, I just i don't know i've had these for years i don't like how flat they look I know that's probably unpopular opinion, but it's also a shade thing for me. I don't like either of these shades. I have Grace and I have Joy. For whatever reason, they're just, they're too much on my fair skin. I would rather get a different shade from her line, but because these are only two that I have, I wanna put these in the closet just for reference. Here's one that I'm going to chopping block. This is one from Cure Weiss. I do not remember what shade this was in, but the shade was not my favorite. Like the formula was good. It's a shimmery finish, but it tends to look a little bit gray on my cheeks once I blend it in. And sometimes I find that with like these mauve shades that lean more cool or more like gray leaning than they do more peachy. Sometimes they can look gray when blended in when they're, I don't know, almost this like shimmer finish. So I know that this is a really emollient formula. It feels really good going on. It's mostly just a shade thing for me, but I wanna chopping block this because I literally never reach for this. I have not reached for this since I tested it and it's you know quite an expensive product. So I would like to see if I can like fall in love with the shade. I'm also going to declutter this. I have so many sticks and she glam is good but like i don't know i have this shade in a stick somewhere and i would rather reach for that glowing up skin stick in wild love 
I just, why would I give it to She Glam when I can give it to something else? I'm not necessarily like supporting them anymore. I know there's definitely been a lot of people that really don't buy their stuff anymore. And it's not a bad shade and it's not a bad formula, but I would so much rather have this in my collection and then see these things and reach for something else that I just much prefer. So decluttering that one. This is so hard for me. I wanted to always have a big collection. And so I'm, I'm like fighting this urge to keep everything just for the sake of keeping it. And that is so hard to shake. Another one that I'm gonna declutter is the Soft Matte Cream Blush. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move this to the closet because I would like to keep this for reference for a drugstore because it's a really, really good formula. This is in the shade Rosebud. Look at that shade. If you guys have seen like the stuff that I've swatched, <laughs> I think you can tell this is not, this is not a shade for me. I thought it was gonna be more like this, but it's more of like a hot pink. So that's kind of how it looked when I purchased it from Ulta online. It just didn't come the way that I thought it was gonna come. And so even though this is a super good formula and I'd like to have this formula in my collection for comparisons, I do not want it for shade reasons. I will not reach for it. Here is one that I would like to throw into Project Pan. It's the one from Honest Beauty that I got first. It is in their new packaging, but this is the cream cheek and lip color in rose pink. I had this one the longest and the formula, like it did start to kind of dry out. And so I was like, oh no, you know, it's going bad and I didn't get as much use out of it as I wanted to. So I wanna put this back up and I wanna put this in my Project Pan. It has like a decent dip in it for like a lot of my products that just don't. I jump back and forth so much between products that I just, I don't use them that often. The other one that I wanna throw in Project Pan is the one from LYS, the Semi Matte Satin Matte Cream Blush in Self Love. They're very similar, like in tones are kind of like these mauve shades. This one is maybe a little bit more brown and this one has more pink in it, but this is getting on the older side and it has done pretty much the same thing as the one from Honest Beauty where it's like started to dry out in the center. So I wanna get more use out of this before it goes bad. So both of these I'm gonna take out to put in my project pan. I have never had to throw something away yet that's gone bad other than a lip product since I started my collection. So you guys, for reference sake, like it would just be heartbreaking for me other than a lip product to have to chuck something because I just, I didn't get enough use out of it. That's where I am in my makeup journey. It's like looming on my mind and I feel like that's why I'm doing this kind of exercise now. I don't think I can get any closer with the camera. You can see my like striped socks, hello. I want you guys to be able to see the entire drawer here. And there are some formulas in my powder bronzers that I know that I wanna get rid of. For example, this one from Melt just needs to be decluttered. It's their Ultra Matte Powder Bronzer in Santa Barbara. It is too warm, too deep, no. Like it's a good formula, but this is their lightest shade. It never works for me, so I have to declutter that one. And then where is it? The Gucci, the Bronzino powder. This one is in 02. I saw the pictures online and I thought, 01 is way too light. But then when this arrived, this is way too dark for me. So I'm actually gonna give this away because I just went and I finally repurchased 01 after saying it for, I don't know how long that I just needed to get a better shade. I love this formula so much. I just, I finally did it. I tried, tried, tried to make this work. It's not going to, it's never going to. I just need to come to grips with reality on that and let it go. Another one that I'm gonna move, I feel like to the closet is the permanent packaging bronzer from ColourPop. I wanna use it as a reference item, but man, if I'm going to reach for powders, it's, it's not gonna be this one. Like I'm not gonna reach for the ColourPop one over some of my other favorites. It's just not gonna happen, but I do wanna reference this, so closet it goes. The same thing with the Juvia's Place bronzer. I just, I did not like either of these shades. I feel like this one was like too, too light. I don't know, I just, if I'm gonna reach for a bronzer, I tell you, it is going to be something else. It's not going to be this one. I like it more than the blush. 
but I don't love it. And I just, if I'm gonna move the blush in there, I might as well just keep the duos together because I would so prefer to get use out of, I don't know, so many other ones in here, especially the ones that are just honestly more like expensive. But there are some in here that I, Oof, I just I just really really love and enjoy and do not give enough love to I kind of recently decluttered this So I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna end up decluttering this one. This one is just time to go It's the buxom primer infused. It's just too orange. I I know myself I know I will not reach for this over other ones. It's got to go. You know what? I'm gonna move the hula mini to the closet as well. This one is just a little bit deep of a shade for me. I would much prefer to use Hoola Light than this one. Um, and so, you know, I would get it if I didn't have a ton here, but there are so many that I just really enjoy the formula of, again, that I would so much rather reach for than that one because it's just a little bit deep for me. Like this one from MAC is amazing. This is kind of like, the, you know, the shade that I really, my fair skin should be reaching for. This is the matte light rosy bronzer. It's their skin finish bronzer. This one from Becca, you can't even get this anymore. Like I would rather reach for this and try and pan this. This is a really decent shade for me. Uh, Tom Ford, also really decent shade. The one from Victoria Beckham is maybe a little bit light and definitely not my favorite formula. It's a little bit on the hard side. It's not as creamy as I honestly would like it to be, but I just picked up some more Victoria Beckham products. And so I want to incorporate this into that video. I would also love to reach for this one from Kosits. It's so good. It's the Waves, the Sun Show bronzer. It's like, it's perfectly shaded. It's also like got warmth in it, but it's like a shimmery so good shimmery finish i just i feel good about this and i already have two bronzers that i have pulled out that are in my project pan currently so i do not need to pull any more powder bronzers out for project pan purposes so i think we're done here okay we are on into the highlighter drawer i think this one's actually much easier for me i like a lot of these highlighters i do know that i want to put this one on the chopping block this one is from chantakai it's actually a blush it's the lotus blossom radiant blush this does not work as a blush for me this is one of those shimmery pink shades that i say like turns gray on my skin tone and so i moved it into the highlighter drawer to test it as a highlighter and then i never tested it as a highlighter so that is what i want to do i want to put this in the chopping block up on my vanity to see whether or not this is something that i want to keep in my collection then i want to move these over into oof, the reference drawers because I do not enjoy these as much. I would much prefer to reach for other highlighters than over these three. Honestly, I think the Charlotte is way better. I honestly think even the Laura Mercier one that just came out. Actually, you know what? The Flower Beauty one is going to go. I'm going to swap it. I think this is a better formula. The Glow Tape from Tarte in the shade Pearl Glow is better. This dries down just too fast. And so I'm going to put this in like the reference library and i'm going to keep this one in here but milani don't like the shade just doesn't look good on my skin tone this is the lightest one that they have and the elf halo glow hmm how do i feel about this you know what i'll keep this one in here i do like this i do like this formula it is better than like you know the shimmery finish of the blush and then i want to take this one out for my project pan this is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i've used about a quarter of it and I love it. I love it on top of my makeup at like the high points on my face because I think it's just like this super natural lit from within glow. And yeah, I would like to pan it. I mean, I would probably want to repurchase it, but I still want to use this up because it's a liquid product and I've had this for a while and I don't want it to go bad and me have to throw it out. That's a fear of mine. So that is going to go into a project pan. This one I'm going to move into the closet. It's the Milani Baked Highlighter in Dolce Perla. It's too light for me. Like it's just not, I, I don't ever reach for kind of like a natural highlighter like this, you know, like powder. I don't know. I like the Charlotte. It's just when it comes to a powder highlighter, I like it to be super punchy. I don't know. It's my must be weird or something, but I like to keep this for reference. I just, I really don't think I want it in here because I wanna be able to see the things that I really wanna grab and get use out of. So I wanna keep an affordable option. It's nice to reference Milani products from time to time. So library, 
Same thing with this. This will go in the library. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. This one is in the shade Light. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Dream Light. This is way too deep when you swirl it together. So it's more like a shimmery blush and I don't like it as a blush. It's limited edition, so I don't even think you can get it anymore, but I don't know. I just, I like keeping Charlotte product. I just don't want this one in here. I'm just gonna keep it in the library of items. I'm gonna move this one from House Labs. It's the Tutti Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Loose Day Soul into the chopping block because it's in a pretty deep peachy shade it was from her original line i love this formula the formula is so beautiful and smooth and like pearlescent but the shade is not that great so i'm gonna give it like one more shot if it doesn't if i can't make this work on my cheeks then it will also get decluttered i also pulled this out of my face palette drawer this is gonna go in the closet as well i don't like this this is not good for me. It's the Glow Face Palette from Dior in 002 Glitz. It's too shimmery. I can't use all of these shades as a highlighter. This one is nice, but it's like sparkly. Like it has sparkles in it. I just, I honestly don't enjoy this as much as so many other people. And that's just a personal preference thing, but I feel like I'd like to keep it. It's just Mm, I don't know the sparkles in here just don't like it looks pretty when I'm looking at it now But like when it's on the cheeks all I can see is just sparkle and I don't really care for these shades on my cheeks The only reason I keep it is for this shade right here Honestly, and I feel like it's just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe too sparkly I don't want to get rid of it, but it's it's got to go in the closet You know what? I'm honestly gonna move this one into the closet as well It's nice to refer to this because it's a super popular product, but I don't love this shade and I don't love how natural it is. If I'm gonna reach for a highlighter, it's gonna be more punchy than this. I never loved this the way other people did, so closet for me. I'm gonna take one of these small Becca ones and I'm gonna put them in a project pan. This one here has been broken, so I would like to try and use this one up. I've repressed it, but I've used this one less than the other one. I would like to, I don't know, I would like to try and pan this one. I think powder products go a lot longer, so you know, I'm not worried about this one going bad the way that I am the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I wanna put this in a project pan. And then I think I feel good about this drawer. Okay, this next one, I don't think I will move the camera down again because I don't think you'll be able to see the whole thing if I do. I have not looked at this drawer yet, so I don't know my feelings or thoughts yet. I'm gonna move this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. Ooh, it's too gray, it's too greasy looking on my forehead. I feel like this one is in vacay mood. And yeah, I did not like this, but again, something to reference because it's pretty popular. I don't know about the Luminous ones. I'm also going to get rid of this one, the one from She Glam. It's the contour stick. It's nice. Again, I would rather reach for, I feel like, other contour sticks over this one. I just don't contour that much, so declutter. Same goes for this one. It's, it's nice, but again, I've had this a while, and this is, I feel like, just too gray leaning for me, so I don't know. It almost kind of seems like it's like separating a little bit, so I'm going to declutter this one as well. One that I am going to put in the closet is this one from Refai. It is way, way, way too warm in this shade. I feel like they've expanded it slightly, but this is orange. It looks straight orange on my cheeks. It's a great, great formula, just not a good shade. This one is in sand, which I think at the time when I got this was their lightest shade. I don't know how they've expanded their shade range, but I just... I really don't enjoy the shade on me, so I'm going to put that in the closet just so that I have Refi to reference if I want to, but I will not be using it. I know I'm gonna have to get serious about project panning some of these, but I feel so much better <laughs> about what I've done here. And I just pulled out a couple more that I'm gonna show you and that I am also going to project pan. So this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood contour wand. 
there's like hardly anything left in here it's basically air so because it's a liquid product i want to try and project pan this and then this one from milk is their original like bronzer stick this one is in the shade baked this component is like broken i do not foresee myself like getting a tool to twist this up so if i cannot get it to just go oh, there it goes on its own okay it's working now i also still want to put this in a project pan man this just keeps coming oh it's legitimately broken so i will use as much as i can until this completely breaks on me and then i will end up just throwing it away so i would like to throw this guy in a project pan hopefully i can roll this back down yeah it's totally come off of here so i'm like pushing it down with my finger so i'm gonna see what i can get out of this guy and after that it's going in the garbage because i have had this a while the final one from this drawer that is going in the trash is the makeup by maria one another one where the component has completely broken on me i can like basically twist it up that much this whole thing has come off many times i think i'm probably going to put this up on the vanity get as much use out of it as i can until it's gone too far and then i'm going to throw it away but yeah this is like this is a nightmare. This, I didn't even use that this much for this component to break. I don't feel like I'm super rough on them. I mean, I could be, but I just don't feel like it. So I'll get whatever use out of it I can and then I am gonna throw it away. I'm not gonna repurchase it. I just, I have too many. It was a nice formula, but I have a lot of like nice formulas, so. Okay, here is my lip drawer. This is hard, it's always hard for me. Um, Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one from REM Beauty. It's straight up like putting a marker on your lips. I don't know. I just I would so much prefer reaching for other things over this. This one is in the shade Popular. It's the lip stain marker. I don't think it's bad. It's just, I don't know. It's not my preference over like any other real lip stain so decluttering this this one is going to go into the closet for reference this is the new giorgio armani lip power matte it is extremely dry on my lips it looks nice on a swatch but i cannot wear this without like topping it with a gloss so because it's new i want to hold on to it but i don't i don't like wearing it i would rather wear something else that's also a matte formula that I just really enjoy so much more. I think this REM Beauty one, I want to put in a chopping block because I can't remember how I feel about it and I will not reach for it unless I remember. It's the liquid lipstick in Leave a Message. Maybe I don't like the shade. I cannot remember how I feel about it. So I'm gonna put this in a chopping block. I'm gonna pan this little guy. It is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in 001. So it's just their pink shade. But yeah, I mean, if I could just use up this tiny little free tester, that would be nice. I'm also gonna put this, I think, in a project pan. It's from Jouer. It's their rose gold. It's kind of like this iridescent gloss. It's really pretty, but I've had it for a while and I feel like it's kind of on its last leg so I would like to use this up because I think it's really pretty and I don't think it would be hard to do so I'm gonna project pan that as well there's another one but it might be in the drawer below it do I want to keep these ones yeah the Laura Geller ones I think I like but there was one in here that I feel like is not a good shade I'm gonna move this one from Laura Geller into the closet. It's really cool. It's like a holographic lipstick. It's her gorgeous in gold lipstick in the shade Perfection in Pink. I don't love this shade on me, but it's such a cool like design that I don't wanna totally get rid of it. I know that's so stupid. I can't, I just heard myself say that and I was like, are you serious? but I think I am serious. I'm also gonna put this one on the chopping block. This one is the Le Monster Lip Crayon in Mauve Matte from House Labs. I remember this being super dry on my lips. So I need to see if I like it, because honestly, I will move it to the closet and the heck out of my collection if it's not something that works for me. I'm gonna put this in a project pan too, because like it doesn't have that much left. It's the Beauty Essentials 3D Effect Lip Gloss in 02 from Kiko Milano. Honestly, it's like, like half gone so project pan this as well you know what i think this one is good because there is definitely one 
from this drawer here. I am going to declutter this. This is one of the lip bonds from Urban Decay. It's a shade thing. Shade is no, no good for me. And I just picked up another one that it was like a new shade they launched in this line and I so much prefer it. This does not look good on me. Oranges look terrible on my lips and skin tone. It just washes out kind of my lips or my face. I'm going to let that go. This one from Pixie, I'm gonna let go. Again, I don't like that shade on me. It does not look good. Bye. This one here from Maybelline. Again, not a decent shade really. And I mean, it's better but it's a really, really dry formula. So I might put this in the closet. I don't know yet. I'm gonna declutter both of these two. From Perfusion, the Ethereal Butterfly, the Soft Matte Lip Creams are just not good colors. Here's the one I wanna project pan. This is the Clinique Black Honey. So there's just a teeny tiny bit left. I wanna use this up because I have had that for a while. Again, I just don't wanna feel like guilty that maybe I couldn't use it all before it went bad. I'm going to put the NYX lingerie in the chopping block. I remember this being a little bit drying on my lips. Like once it finally set down, I just remember it being like sucking the moisture out. This one is in the shade Expose Me. It's super pigmented and it feels very creamy, but I just remember it being very drying. So I need to test this formula again. My camera just died, so I'm just holding it in my hands now so I don't have to put it back on the mount. I think this is good. There are actually a lot of formulas in here that I don't love and that I would rather reach for other formulas over them. I would rather put them in chopping block than just declutter them because I can't necessarily remember how I feel. And I feel like I've already taken so many out to put them in the chopping block. So I will leave what is in here in here for now. We're going to organize them into both closet, declutter, trash, and then project pan slash chopping block. So here we go. Okay, here's the final organization. So I created two bins for my project pan stuff. So I put kind of my primers and eyeshadow primers, setting spray, some lip products, powder, no real rhyme or reason to the organization, just kind of what seemed to fit. And then the one foundation that I wanna try and pan, the blushes, the bronzers and highlighters and the blushes back there. And then over here, this is where I've put all of the items that are on the chopping block right now. I'm gonna test them a couple more times to see if I wanna keep these products. If I don't, some of them will go into these bins here and into the closet, but then some of them I will just end up decluttering. And then over here, this is the box of items that I'm going to pass along to my sister. It's pretty full, but I do have some brushes here that I did like a declutter in my last vanity makeover and I still just haven't got rid of them. They're in my closet. There's this one here that needs to be cleaned, but the rest are all clean. So I'm going to try and put it in that box and close it up to give to her. But these ones I want to go ahead and put in this set over here. I think I will go ahead and throw the stuff that is on the chopping block in the bottom. And then my project pan items I'm gonna put here. And then the rest of these drawers are all products I am testing, including up there. And next I need to <laughs> go through some of these brushes. Some of them are pretty dirty. And then here I've done these containers just full of the stuff that I want to keep for reference. I don't want to declutter just yet, but I do not care for or just don't have a use for any of these. I know this foundation right now is going pretty viral and a lot of people seem to like it, but this was super dry on me and it even has like, like this weird pearlescence in it. I don't know. I just it really dried out my skin. It wasn't hydrating at all. So I've just kind of filled these with different things that I want to keep in the closet. So we will move them there next. Okay, here's the closet. It's pretty dim lighting, but this is where I kept the containers of all the stuff that I'm just gonna keep for reference, but not in my permanent collection. This is a basket that I keep for speed reviews, palettes that I've tried this year that I do not wanna keep, but I do wanna do a full 
palette ranking at the end of the year. These are palettes that I've tried, tested, I just haven't put in like a ranking video. And then down here I keep all of my beauty empties for a future beauty empty video. So that is it you guys, that is the full video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am out of here for this evening and I hope to catch you guys all in my next video. Bye!